Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. And on this episode of Quiz Central, we continue our season with a second round game between Traverse City Central and Saginaw Heritage, coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson. Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Congratulations, Ludington. You are the Quiz Central Season 16 Grand Champions. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthew Ozanek, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 17th season of Quiz Central right here on WCMU. With the first round of our tournament already in the books, we now begin our second round here today with the teams from Traverse City Central and Saginaw Heritage. Now, how the game works on our virtual edition of Quiz Central is quite simple. Our two competing teams will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted advances to the next round. At the end of the season, four Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. This week, the Red Division will kick off the second round of our tournament. So without further ado, let's get today's match underway. And our first round today is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There's no deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but final answers will be coming from the team's captain. Trevor City Central, you're up first. So here comes your first question in the Maroon and Gold Rush. The photo Earthrise was taken during what 1968 mission in which William Anders, Frank Borman, and James Lovell became the first to orbit the moon? Which one? Oh, nine. Final answer, Apollo 9. 9 is incorrect. Next question. In World War I, what country's Air Force included a unit nicknamed the Flying Circus led by the Red Baron, whose real name was Manfred von Richthofen? Final answer, Germany. Germany is correct. What country, whose Clark Air Base was formerly operated by the U.S., was the site of the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo on Luzon Island? Philippines. Final answer, Philippines. That is correct. What, organi what organization, a successor of the Revenue Cutter Service, has the motto Semper Paratus and is an armed forces branch that patrols U.S. waters? Coast Guard. Final answer, U.S. Coast Guard. Coast Guard's correct. What task, which can be done with algorithms called Radix, Bubble, Merge, and Quick, involves putting items in a list or array into order? Sorting. Final answer, sorting. Sorting's correct. What river, whose tributaries include the Iskar and Sava, empties into the Black Sea in Romania and flows past four capital cities, including Vienna? Danube. Final answer, Danube. Danube. Danube's correct. What author of the novel Starship Troopers wrote about a man who comes to Earth after being raised on Mars in Stranger in a Strange Land? Pass. Pass. Next question. Proxima B, which is thought to be a super-Earth, is the closest example of what objects that orbit stars outside the solar system? Exoplanet. Final answer, exoplanet. That is correct. What book series, which includes, oh, with that bell, we're not going to be able to get to that last question, but great job, Traverse City Central, in that opening round. Let's go ahead and count them up. Well, Traverse City Central opens strong with six correct answers and 60 points. Saginaw Heritage, it's now your turn in the maroon and gold rush. Let's put two minutes back on the clock. The photo Earthrise was taken during what 1968 mission in which William Anders, Frank Borman, and James Lovell became the first to orbit the moon? Apollo 8. Apollo 8. Apollo 8 is correct. In World War I, what country's Air Force included a unit nicknamed the Flying Circus, led by the Red Baron, whose real name was Manfred von Richthofen? Germany. Germany is correct. What country, whose Clark Air Base was formerly operated by the U.S., was the site of the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo on Luzon Island? Japan. 
Japan is incorrect. Next question. What organization, a successor of the Revenue Cutter Service, has the motto Semper Paratus and is an armed forces branch that patrols U.S. waters? Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Guard's correct. What task, which can be done with algorithms called Radix, Bubble, Merge, and Quick, involves putting items in a list or array into order? Categorizing. Categorize is incorrect. Next question. What river, whose tributaries include the Iskar and Sava, empties into the Black Sea in Romania and flows past four capital cities, including Vienna? Danube. Danube is correct. What author of the novel Starship Troopers wrote about a man who comes to Earth after being raised on Mars in Stranger in a Strange Land? Uh, Darwin. That is incorrect. Next question. Proxima B, which is thought to be a super-Earth, is the closest example of what objects that orbit stars outside the solar system? Exoplanet. 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 Exoplanet is correct. Oh, with that bell is going to signify the end of the round, but Saginaw Heritage, great job with that opening round. You were able to get one, two, three, four, five correct answers for a total of 50 points. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those questions that we missed. Uh, the author of the novel Starship Troopers and also wrote Stranger in a Strange Land was Robert A. Heinlein. Only one round so far today, but it's already a very tight score. And right now, we're going to take this opportunity to meet our players from each of today's schools. Let's start with the students from Traverse City Central High School. Hi, my name is Leonard Chown, and I'm a senior at Central High School. I'm Jackson Price. I'm a sophomore at uh, Central High School. Good morning. I'm George Parvell. I'm a senior at Central High School. Hi, my name is Will Gouster, and I'm a senior at Traverse City Central. Thank you, Traverse City Central. Now, the team from Saginaw Heritage. Take it away. All right, hello, I am uh, Ian Smiley. I go to Heritage High School. My name is Jason. I'm a senior and I go to Heritage High School. All right, hi, my name is Luke Zaharik. I go to Heritage High School. I'm a junior. My name is Landon Wagner. I'm in grade 11. I go to Heritage High School. Well, now that we've had a chance to meet everyone, let's head into the next round of competition, the Perfect 10. In this round, our teams will be given a category and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as they can. And our Perfect 10 category for today is Super Mario. Name these characters from the Super Mario video game franchise. Trevor City Central, we're going to start with you, so let's put 60 seconds on the clock and head into the Perfect 10 round. Mario's brother, with an L on his cap. Final answer, Luigi. Correct. Typically green, egg-laying ally who resembles a dinosaur. Final answer, Yoshi. Correct. Humanoid mushroom, an attendant to Peach. Final answer, Toad. Correct. Donkey Kong's hat-wearing nephew. Final answer, Diddy Kong. Diddy's correct. Ghostly figure who vanishes when directly looked at. Final answer, Boo. Correct. Orange-haired princess of Sa Sarasaland. Final answer, Daisy. Correct. Mario's arch enemy who has a spiked shell. Final answer, Bowser. Correct. Woman rescued in Donkey Kong who is New Donk City's mayor in Super Mario Odyssey. Final answer, Pauline. Correct. Inventor of the Poltergust 3000 and Flood. Final answer, Egad. Correct. Fire-breathing Triceratops, name for the singer of Nine Inch Nails. Oh, with that bell, I'm sorry, that's going to end the round. We won't be able to get to that last one. Trevor City Central certainly knows their Mario and racks up 90 points in the perfect 10, which ups their score to 150. It's now Saginaw Heritage's turn to try to add to their score in today's Perfect 10. Let's put 60 seconds back up on the clock. Mario's brother with an L on his cap. Luigi. Luigi's correct. Typically green egg-laying ally who resembles a dinosaur. Yoshi. Yoshi's correct. Humanoid mushroom and attendant to peach. Toad. Toad is correct. Donkey Kong's hat wearing nephew. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is correct. 
ghostly figure who vanishes when directly looked at? Boo. Boo is correct. Orange-haired princess of Sarasaland. Daisy. Yeah, Daisy. Daisy's correct. Mario's arch enemy who has a spiked shell. Yeah, Bowser. Bowser's correct. Woman rescued in Donkey Kong who is New Donk City's mayor. Oh, sorry, with that bell, that's going to signify the end of the round, so we're not going to be able to get to the end of that question. Saginaw Heritage performs well in today's Perfect 10 with 70 points and now sits with a total of 120. With two rounds in the books, our score is Traverse City Central 150, Saginaw Heritage 120. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those questions that we missed. The woman rescued in Donkey Kong, who was New Donk City's mayor, was Pauline. In this round, I'll be asking each team a series of random questions. Team members will be able to consult with each other, and final answers will be coming from the team's captains. We're going to start with Traverse City Central in the home stretch round. So students, get ready. Here comes your first question. What country's islands include Rotnest Island, where most quokkas live, and an island home to other marsupials, such as wombats and Tasmanian devils? Final answer, Australia. Correct. What Serbian center, who once recorded a triple-double in less than 15 minutes, was named NBA MVP in 2021? Luka Doncic. Uh, final answer, Luka Doncic. Uh, sorry, not going to be able to accept that. On to the next question. What national park, which contains the Grand Prismatic Spring, is the oldest national park in the U.S. and is home to the geyser Old Faithful? Final answer, Yellowstone. Correct. What former Soviet Republic, where Alexander Lukashenko claimed victory in a 2020 election, opponents decried as rigged, has its capital in Belarus? Belarus is correct. In 1911, Francisco Madero became president of what country after throwing its longtime dictator, Porfirio Diaz? Final answer, Mexico. Mexico is correct. The majority of Iceland's electricity comes from what type of energy that is derived from the e internal heat of the Earth? Final answer, geothermal. Geothermal is correct. What war in which Winfield Scott led an amphibious assault that captured the port of Veracruz in 1847 pitted the U.S. against its southern neighbor? Final answer, Mexican-American War. Mexican-American is correct. In Aldous Huxley's novel Brave New World, Linda consumes massive quantities of what drug which is used to pacify the population of the world state? Opium. Final answer, opium. Opium is incorrect. Next question. What office, whose first female holder was Megan Brennan, has been held since 2020 by Louis DeJoy, who leads an agency responsible for the mail? Um, what is it? Postal, US, Final answer, U.S. Postal Service. Postal Service is incorrect. On to the next question. What avant-garde American composer called for a pianist to sit at a keyboard and do nothing for a period of time in his work four minutes and 33 seconds? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. Three of what mathematical things can be operated by the triple product, which combines the dot and cross products that can be used on them? Pass. Pass. Next question. Mr. Republican was the nickname of what Ohio senator who, with Fred Hartley, names a 1947 act restricting the power of labor unions? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What city, which contains the Stormont Parliament Building, was the site of a shipyard that built the Titanic and is the capital of Northern Ireland? Belfast. Final answer, Belfast. Belfast is correct. Henry Luce founded what American magazine, whose 2018 Person of the Year award was given to journalists? Oh, sorry, with that bell, we're not going to be I able to... Answer time. Oh, I'm sorry. The, unfortunately, the bell rang before we were able to get that answer in, so we won't be able to accept that one. But yes, it was Time Magazine. Traverse City Central gained some momentum in the home stretch round and adds 70 points to their score, bringing their total up to 220. We now turn to Saginaw Heritage to see how they'll handle the home stretch round. Students, here comes your first question. What country's islands include Rotnest Island, where most quokkas live, and an island home to other marsupials such as wombats and Tasmanian devils? Madagascar. Madagascar is incorrect. What Serbian center, who, rec who once recorded a triple-double in less than 15 minutes, was named NBA MVP in 2021? 
Doncic. Luka Doncic. That is incorrect. On to the next question. What national park, which contains the Grand Prismatic Spring, is the oldest national park in the U.S. and is home to the Geyser Old Faithful? Yellowstone. Yellowstone's correct. What former Soviet Republic, where Alexander Lukashenko claimed victory in a 2020 election opponents decried as rigged, has its capital in Minsk? Belarus. Belarus is correct. In 1911, Francisco Madero became president of what country after overthrowing its longtime dictator, Porfirio Diaz? Venezuela. So, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Second Heritage? Once more, Venezuela. That, uh, no, sorry, that is incorrect. Next question. The majority of Iceland's electricity comes from what type of energy that is derived from the internal heat of the Earth? Geothermal. Geothermal is correct. What war in which Winfield Scott led an amphibious assault that captured the port of Veracruz in 1847 pitted the U.S. against its southern neighbor? Uh, Mexico-American War. That is correct. In Aldous Huxley's novel Brave New World, Linda consumes massive quantities of what drug which is used to pacify the population of the world state? Oh, it's it's guess Ecstasy. Incorrect. Next question. What office, whose first female holder was Megan Brennan, has been held since 2020 by Louis DeJoy, who leads an agency responsible for the mail? Post office. Sorry, that is incorrect. Next question. What avant-garde American composer called for a pianist to sit at a keyboard and do nothing for a period of time in his work, four minutes and 33 seconds? Cabbage. Cabbage is incorrect. Next question. Three of what mathematical things can be operated on by the triple product, which combines the dot and cross products that can be used on them? Intricies. Matrices. Matrices. Matrices is incorrect. Next question. Mr. Republican was the nickname of what Ohio senator who, with Fred Hartley, names a 1947 act restricting the power of labor unions? Oh, sorry, with that bell, we're not going to be able to get an answer in on that one. Saginaw Heritage finishes up our home stretch round with four correct answers and 40 points. And let's take a quick look at those questions that were missed in that round. The Serbian center that was 2021's NBA MVP was Nikola Jokic. The drug consumed in Aldous Huxley's Brave New World was Soma. Megan Brennan was the first female Postmaster General. And John Cage was the composer of 4 minutes and 33 seconds. The three mathematical things operated on by triple products were vectors. And finally, that Ohio Senator nicknamed Mr. Republican was Robert Taft. Our score is now Traverse City Central 220, Saginaw Heritage 160. As we head into the final round of the day, the final countdown. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer as many questions as they can, with correct answers still being worth 10 points apiece. Traverse City Central, you're up first in today's final countdown. Let's put two minutes on the clock, and here comes your first question. Quantum dots are microscopic examples of what materials used to make transistors with properties between those of insulators and conductors? Final answer, semiconductors. Semiconductors is correct. The city of, the city, uh, what city on the Huangpu River is home to the Oriental Pearl Tower, is at the mouth of the Yangtze River, and is China's most populous city? Final answer, Shanghai. Shanghai is correct. What kind of object is depicted in the best-known sculpture by Myron, which shows an athlete preparing to throw this kind of object? Final answer, discus. Discus is correct. What mythical object, which was stolen by the giant Thrym, has a short handle because of Loki's mischief and is a hammer wielded by Thor? Final answer, Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Mjolnir is correct. We'll take that. Biryani is a dish made using what crop, whose basmati and jasmine varieties are popular in Indian cuisine? Final answer, rice. Rice is correct. What scientist who standardized thermometers invented a namesake temperature scale? Final answer, which... Kelvin. Oh, I'm sorry, Kelvin is incorrect. On to the next question. 
What poet asked, does it stink like rotten meat and does it dry up like a raisin in the sun in a poem about a dream deferred entitled Harlem? Pass. Pass. Next question. What woman who wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas is known for quotes such as, rose is a rose is a rose is a rose? It's an autobiography, so you said Alice B. Toklas. Final answer, Alice B. Toklas. That is incorrect. On the next question. Claude Francois de Malay was executed for leading a coup against what monarch whom Malay claimed had actually died while invading Russia in 1812? Louis XIV. Final answer, Louis XIV. Louis XIV is incorrect. What seven-letter adjective describes the ancient king Leonidas? Oh, I'm sorry with that bell. We're not going to be able to get to that last question. Thank you, Traverse City Central. Now, Saginaw Heritage, it's your turn to enter the final countdown. Here comes your first question. Quantum dots are microscopic examples of what materials used to make transistors with properties between those of insulators and conductors? Semiconductor. Semiconductor is correct. What city on the Huangpu River is home to the Oriental Pearl Tower? Is at the mouth of the Yangtze River and is China's most populous city. Beijing. Beijing is incorrect. Next question. What kind of object is depicted in the best known sculpture by Myron, which shows an athlete preparing to throw this kind of object? This kind of object. A disc? Discus. Discus. Discus is correct. What mythical object, which was stolen by the giant Thrym, has a short handle because of Loki's mischief and is a hammer wielded by Thor? Mjolnir? Mjolnir? Final answer, second, a heritage? Mjolnir? Mjolnir? I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to accept that. On to the next question. Biryani is a dish made using what crop whose basmati and jasmine varieties are popular in Indian cuisine? Rice. Rice is correct. What scientist who standardized thermometers invented a namesake temperature scale in which the freezing point of water is defined as 32 degrees? Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's correct. What poet asked, does it stink like rotten meat and does it dry up like a raisin in the sun in a poem about a dream deferred entitled Harlem? Uh, I drown Poe. Uh, Poe is incorrect. On the next question. What woman who wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas is known for quotes such as, rose is a rose is a rose is a rose? Uh. Dickinson. Nope, sorry, the Dickinson is incorrect and that bell is going to signify the end of the round. Well, there you have it. After four rounds of competition, our final score is Traverse City Central 270, Saginaw Heritage 200. A tough final countdown for both teams, but Traverse City Central caught that lead early in the game and were able to hang on to it. And for those final round answers that we missed, the poet who wrote about a dream deferred in Harlem was Langston Hughes. The woman who wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas was not Alice B. Toklas, but Gertrude Stein. And finally, Claude Francois de Malay was the one responsible who planned that coup against Napoleon Bonaparte. Today's victors on Quiz Central are the students from Traverse City Central. Congratulations. And of course, we want to thank Saginaw Heritage for joining us on a fantastic game of Quiz Central. Seniors, good luck to all of you in your future endeavors. And underclassmen, we hope to see you right here back at our next season of Quiz Central. And we hope all of you will join us again in our next episode of QC as two more Michigan schools compete for the Season 17 title. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public Television, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you right back here for the next episode of Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.